Good morning. Now, the build-up to International Women's Week starts right here with us on the number one breakfast show on TV. This is Wake Up Nigeria, and it's Wonder Women Wednesday. <laughs> Let's go, everyone. As usual, this particular edition is going to be spectacular. Now, whether you are Aisha, Sandra, Maureen, Katrina, Halim, Ma, mm. Tolani, mm. Zainab, Titi, Tope, <laughs> uh, Olamide, Choma, Choma. Oluada, Milola, wow. Choma. <laughs> <laughs> there are two things for sure. You are fabulously classy as we celebrate you today. Now, remember, the most beautiful thing about a woman is a smile. So put a smile on your face. Yes, so no, no matter condition pain. Yeah. Yeah. As in it. <laughs> Show us your 32, people. Make sure you have a smile on your face, everyone. Care, patience, emotions, and love are some of the things that help define women. But of course, in more recent times, that definition has been upgraded to words like fantastic, enterprising, triumphant, victorious, beautiful. And MM. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful smile on Emin's face. Hey, Let my me. goodness. Say. My goodness. Eh. My I hope you all can see my 32, though. Uh. Like all of us. Eh. Hey, Emin, <laughs> you're looking gorgeous. Thank you, you so You know, I told much, you earlier. Thank you, you, you look so beautiful. Thank you. I love your outfit. Thank you. I can't so wait for much. everyone to see what it really looks like. It's Aww, amazing. Thank you. you know they what? can follow me on my social media. You'll find uh, out later on. Uh, see the complete uh, look. Yes, so. That's right, too. Don't worry. Emin's style diary. In fact, something to Right. We have a lot in store for you today. And as always, we deliver the very best for your viewing pleasure. Nothing but top-notch family entertainment coming your way today. And every second of the show has been carefully curated. We have an hour 45 minutes of pure, unadulterated TV. And uh, get ready. It's time for us to get started. My name is Titilayo Oyinso. And of course, my name is Mary Bashua Alimi. Now remember, you can use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC across all our social media platforms, okay? Yes, uh, just so you can be a part of the best breakfast show on mm -hmm. television right here in Nigeria. You and remember, if you want to find out why they're both wearing red and I'm wearing blue, you can watch us from absolutely anywhere in the world. Just download our app from Google Play Store or iOS. You thought I wasn't going to talk about it. I oh, got you guys. Yes. <laughs> your, oh, your lips aren't even red. No, they're we not. We also <laughs> implore you to follow us on all our social media pages, okay? Mm. Uh, don't just tweet at us. Please follow us as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at mm. TVC Connect, mm -hmm. okay? Now let's tell them what we have in store. We have Aremo Olale Konolua Tobi coming up for relationship this morning. He's a life coach and he's dedicated time to speaking extensively on matters of love and relationships. He believes everyone can have a fulfilling relationship and marriage and he will be talking about the pros and cons of long distance relationships. Hmm. Sounds really interesting. And joining us to talk about food allergies on our nutrition staple is nutritionist Ifeniwa Omesieta. Uh, she'll yeah. be coming up shortly. Singer, songwriter Anita Gini is an alternative artist. Now she's been singing and performing professionally since 2017. She's worked with a few top Nigerian artists uh, like the Kobans, Timmy Dakolo, Tenny Asha, Rema, Johnny Drill, Wajay, Tiwa Savage, Burner Boy, World, and so many other greats uh, she's going to be performing. It's all about the voices today because Corrida Bellu, a Nigerian singer and songwriter who signed a record deal with Maven Records in 2014, is going to be on the show today. Now, he is best known for his hit single, God Win, a semi-gospel and pop song, which uh, became a national anthem and topped many music charts across Nigeria. By all means, it's going to be a great show today, but we have to show you what the weather is going to be like right now. Good morning, it's time for the news update right here on Wake Up. Nigeria, we're starting with security matters in Niger State where bandits have struck again, kidnapping dozens of passengers along the Tejina Mina Road in Rafi local government area. A source told TVC News that the bandits blocked the road at Kundu town a few kilometers from Zungiri where three commercial vehicles carrying nine passengers ran into their hands. 
The passengers were all abducted while the vehicles were left by the roadside. In another development, armed bandits kidnapped an unknown number of villagers in Gidi Gori town in Rafi local government area, burning five cars and cutting away valuables while confirming the incident. A senior government official says nothing has been heard from the bandits to enable the authorities to know the identities of those kidnapped. In a related development, one person was also killed, while several others were kidnapped when bandits raided Manta town in Shiroro local government on Monday evening. The bandits also ransacked the houses of the villagers, stealing foodstuff and other valuable items. All plans to get the police proved abortive, as the police public relations officer Wasiu Abiodun did not pick his calls. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Governor's Forum has visited Zamfara State to felicitate with Governor Bello Matawale over the successful rescue of the 279 abducted Jangbebe schoolgirls. The delegation is headed by the chairman of the forum, who doubles as governor of Ekiti State. Kayode Fayemi, uh, others on the entourage are Governor Atiku Bagudu, of Kebi State and the Deputy Governor of Sokoto State. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Niger State Command, have recovered 27 new rifles from two suspects during a routine stop and search operation in Kotangora area of the state. The suspects, Danjuma Ota 35 and Daniel Dangrangi, 25, from Dirindaji, Sakaba local government area of Kebi State, were arrested along Katangora Zuru Road, Niger State, on Monday night. According to the Niger State Command of the agency, Mr. Aloye Isaac Oludare, they were arrested with 12 locally fabricated AK-47 rifles and 15 locally fabricated pistols. In other operations, operatives of the NDLEA Undo State Command raided Ita Ikwele and Ikwele Forests in Owo local government area of Undo State, during which six suspects were arrested. The Undo State Commander of the agency, Mr. Haruno Gagara, said a total of 41 kilograms of cannabis sativa and 6 kilograms of cannabis seeds were recovered, while 5 hectares of cannabis farm was located and destroyed. Abuja Senate confirms service chiefs and uh, the president of the Senate Ahmad Lawan has urged the newly confirmed service chiefs to confront the country's security challenges head on by taking the fight to the bandits in their camps. Senator Lawan threw this challenge shortly after the presentation and consideration of its defense committee's report at plenary to confirm the appointment of the new service chiefs. The Senate is worried that the insecurity challenges have been turned to a business venture which must be urgently addressed. New service chiefs, the chief of defense staff, and the new service chiefs that Nigerians expect so much from them. We are in a very serious situation. The security situation must be improved, and the bug is now going to stop on their tables as far as operations are concerned. We in the National Assembly, particularly in the Senate, will continue to support our armed forces in whatever way is possible. And that's all we have time for the news update at this hour. Mary is standing by for sports. Now, I have to say, silk scarves, oh gosh, they bring back so many memories I'm sure for me. of us uh, has one. Oh, a, I do. Hello. I d eh? No, as I'm talking of on the show oh, today, on this, we okay. all do. I have I'm it on my handbag. I've started doing the handbag thing. I like it. Some bags like come it. with it. What really? Why are you doing the Yimu thing? The MM. What's <laughs> the <laughs> nose? I swear, when she does it, it makes her look so cute. Uh, but really, I, I've always loved them. So my mom used to wear them when I was a lot younger in the UK. She used to use it to hold her hairstyle down while she was going to the bus stop. Mm. Yeah. Because, because of, of the, the wind. Yeah. Mm. 
and you know it was normal curls mm. the, with the rollers so if you don't hold it <laughs> you're on your own it's, it's amazing it's all how the fashion place. keeps revolving exactly and evolving and revolving mm -hmm. there's something that is evolving that yeah. everybody has been I'm like <laughs> it's been yeah, alarming yeah. especially if you live down south mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the issue of food scarcity hmm. it started like a joke last hmm. week and then all of a sudden it's become a really big deal where it's even almost impossible to get anything at a decent price mm. uh, you see even when you go to buy food stuff or even when you go to buy lunch like we mm. u usually do you end up paying more mm. for less mm. so to speak and so okay. yeah. uh, all right yeah so i was going to say that um yes like you said it's quite alarming mm. and it's it's biting hard on a lot of people yes. i mean i mean i remember during the lockdown um, last year a lot of people were unable to feed because mm. of certain restrictions mm -hmm. you know and we're hoping that okay so later into the year that was last year things were going to get better mm -hmm. but it's still alarming how we are currently facing it i mean the increase the inf it has gone up 20 percent mm -hmm. and this hasn't happened in wait, over wait, 20 11, what 20 mm -hmm. no, I, I, I disagree it is actually it's, i see you know why i disagree number why? one even during um the lockdown there mm. was still food yeah at least you could go to the market occasionally to get food i'm at talking a time. of the increase in price wait now that that was the, that's your number is for lockdown you see this current one it is 257 <laughs> percent it's not even funny at all like so you, you are talking of 20 percent <laughs> what i noted was that a lot of people nobody is keeping quiet about it now a lot of people are talking about it online over and over in fact there were videos uh, online as at yesterday trending videos of people in my mile 12 market mm. with a lot of empty stalls mm. uh, markets the cart Truck pushers coming yeah. down and empty doing nothing yeah, and, and it was alarming when i saw that it was definitely it was shocking because that's a very hustle bustle kind of market uh -huh. things buying and selling is going on at an alarming rate and nothing was happening. happening and i think the videos and of course people speaking out is going to be an eye opener to those i was particularly shocked because happen. i do a lot of my shoppings mm. um at mile 12, 12 yeah. i do bulk shopping mm. so when i saw that video mm. i practically froze because mm and my heart skipped a bit like a hundred times over because mm. then i'm like mm. even yesterday my sibling visited and i told him mm. dude mm. if you still have the tomatoes and pepper that i sent over mm. last month mm. <laughs> you all should just manage it mm -hmm. yesterday i was going to make jollof spaghetti then you don't need to fry spaghetti <laughs> 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 and he started to save <laughs> the, yeah. to the blended tomatoes that i have in the freezer because mm. i even told them to bring it. so i told my oh yeah you know what Mm. return it mm. i think we would just make do because we, 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 you have to find a way to yeah. you yeah. Know, manage. manage what we have and then it's 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 um, a lot of factors of course are to blame for some mm -hmm. of these things mm -hmm. we have in the in the attacks on the farmers mm -hmm. in, uh, in mm -hmm. um, the headsman in the, attack, the headsman yeah. attack. Mm -hmm. we have so analysts have even has even blamed the covid 19 yes. pandemic yes. they've blamed because people are still recovering yes because people are still all recovering from all that of exactly they've also blamed um, mm -hmm. restrictions at the border mm -hmm. so uh I, I, i'm I, thinking I'm we like need to start th thinking ahead so my, my dad and my mom have a mini farm in the compound where we grow okra, we grow tomatoes, we grow carrots, onions, and pepe. Mm. You know, um, it will do all those kind of things. Now, it's enough for a small family. Of course, a lot of big families might not be able to survive on that, but I think it's something people need to start thinking about so that things like this don't catch them unaware. So these are things mm. that we've actually been told to do mm. for, over for over several again. years yeah. now. However, how mm. many people, especially in this same Lagos, mm. have places they can farm? Mm. Many of us live in apartments. Mm. So yeah, many of us, face, face me, mm. I face mm. you. Mm. Many of us live in impossible mm. conditions mm. already. Mm. If you farm, somebody else will help you out there to eat. You ask yourself, uh, <laughs> what really is the mm. point? Mm. And that's why, if you notice, down here, many people are dependent on what the farmers bring in. So yeah. we have always been at the mercy of whatever is brought in from But um, there the are major metropolises all over the world where they've just gone to, they've begun doing balcony farming. Like in Asia, they, they, al almost all of them live in apartments. And they have on their balcony rows and rows I was of going to, uh, I was going to actually, I was going to like say that. the same yeah. thing because I know that that is mm -hmm. um, a, 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 that is an option. Yeah, rooftops. But for mm -hmm. those who mm -hmm. who do not, and I feel mm -hmm. that there is always a way out of every situation mm. regardless mm. we just have to you know l like you know look through mm. like you know seriously scan find through we'll mm. definitely find them there, see th I, I always like when solutions are preferred mm -hmm. 
However, the reality is this, and uh, uh, just as when we were even discussing it earlier, yeah. there's, we believe that all the solutions have been looked at by mm, the government yeah. already. Mm. And so all we need is let us have some kind of reprieve. Mm. Because it's crazy going last week to the market, yeah. buying Pepe for 1000 mm. that's um, transparent bag, the little mm. one, and people were even still, ah, but 800 is what I mm. bought it the previous week. Yeah. And then you go to the market this week and you get it for 5000 8000 mm. A basket of tomatoes yesterday, mm. wanted to buy um, just a bit of tomatoes to cut to fry um, egg. Mm. So we went to buy 100 naira tomatoes and we're giving this thing. <laughs> very this tiny. Very thing, under, uh, four of it for 100 naira. I'm not exaggerating. Mm. It was this tiny, 400 naira. And then the, the, the malam said, he bought, he, oh, imagine a house man, oh, he <laughs> bought the, ba the basket of tomatoes for 30,000 naira. Just that is alarming. Mm. That is <coughs> How much did you it's say scary. you bought yam yesterday? I bought yam 1,500 ah. yesterday and I was looking, I was shaking as, so I kept <laughs> pushing the yam, but you know where you had the till now? You now push it back, like wait, wait, maybe I was wrong. Let them check the price see, again. I checked. So you, you no, don't so no. The, the reason why, so it was, it was, was an impulse because she went to the supermarket. <laughs> no, give me Usually, money if you go to so my supermarket. So let me let me get let me let me, let me tell you something. Mm? There are a lot of supermarkets. If you know the ones to go to, that actually get the mile, mile twelve prices. There are some supermarkets that actually focus on that. But then again, something I bought for 800 like two weeks ago is now one five. I think See, I'll uh, be buying me, me I feel we are even beginning to talk like bourgeoisies because wow. what about those that normally can't even afford to eat? Mm. I'm just wondering, how are they coping now? Mm. Mm. Because some of us even struggle on a regular. <coughs> talk less of those that already have been struggling. We would love <laughs> to know what your thoughts are on mm. this. Uh, particular issue now yeah. how much did you buy tomatoes last tell us please use the hashtag wake up nigeria on tvc and yeah. talk to us about we have a post issue. on that we'll mm. uh, definitely read your comments during the social media uh, segments just make sure you use the hashtag wake up nigeria on tvc all right we'll be back we'll take this break stay with us Welcome back, you're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. Now we are on to our first performance for today. Singer-songwriter Anita Jini is an alternative artist who has been singing and performing professionally since 2017. She has worked with a few top Nigerian artists, Kobum, Steamy Dakolo, Tenny Asha, Remy, Rema, sorry, Johnny Drill, Wajay, Tiwa Savage, Bonner Boy, and Wald. And today she's come to grace our, your TV screens and grace the studio as well with um, her song. And uh, what would you be performing to Anita? Questions. Questions, Questions yes. Oh, hi. fantastic. So tell us what inspired the song Questions? Well, last year, coronavirus, the whole protest, everything going on just really made me put out a song. Oh, okay. And um, you've basically worked with all the A-listers in the entertainment industry. Tell me, what's that like? Well, it was amazing working with these people. It okay. was an uh, experience for me as well. All right, great. So, um, take it away.
amazing great song i really love her voice all right it's time for us to talk relationships and uh, doing justice to that today is aremo now, Toby is a relationship and life coach uh, who has dedicated time to speaking extensively on the matters of love and relationships. He believes everyone can have a fulfilling relationship and marriage. And today, the focus is on pros and cons of long-distance relationships. Yeah. Now, long-distance relationship is one that so many people practice, especially these days. Yeah. Uh, but first, let's even define what long-distance relationship means. Okay. So, um, in summary, we can say that long-distance relationship is any relationship that you can't easily access your significant other. Hmm. Okay, that is um, distance-wise. You can't easily access the person. Like you can't then cross your street and see the person. You, you can't, can't take, take a 30 minutes ride to see the person. You get anything that is traveling that to get the person traveling. then. Hmm. It's basically long-distance relationship. Okay, so uh, let's say you live in Ayobo and okay. <laughs> your, 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 your your lover lives in Ekwe. That's already long that's, distance. That's, that's, that's long distance. <laughs> because you need to plan to, to, to visit to each other. Yeah. You can't just wake up and That's true. Walk. That's true. Yeah, that's okay, so now let, let's talk about um, even the different types of long distance relationships. Okay. Because I know these days there are different ways to define it. Mm -hmm. um, some people might be living in the same neighborhood and still even be long distance because they haven't met physically. It's probably on social media. But le let me have you tell okay. us about all so of that. Um, Let's categorize and say, okay, so there is the, I li we live in the same city, long distance mm -hmm. relationship, mm -hmm. like the example you gave. Yeah. There is the, we live in different city. Long distance relationship. Long distance relationship. Okay. Um, there is the, I need a passport to see you. <laughs> long, long distance, distance relationship. relationship. There is social the media is social long media, distance long distance relationship. relationship. So um, different people fall under different category. Mm -hmm. And I think like you mentioned, when people are practicing the social media, relationship these days and so even they to stay say in lagos mm. but they've not met mm. but they've started their relationship already and that itself so okay so distance. now we, we're going to go to the meat of the conversation right. the pros and the cons but i like to start from the bad let's talk about the consequences like mm. the bad sides of long distance relationships mm. I, I think that um one of the key things usually is because when you are with someone one of the key things is you want to be with this person as much as possible. Yes. So one of the major issues of long distance relationship is that I can't see you. We can't be together, mm. okay? And that in itself puts a lot of strain in different expressions. Mm. Now that, spray, that strain can cause um, loneliness yeah. depending on the personality of any of the partners. Yeah. So if it's somebody that likes um, say physical touch or physical communication as it is, yeah. um, long distance will bring about things about loneliness. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, long distance relationship too um, offers the ease of cheating. Hmm. Okay, hmm. it offers that because you are feeling, okay, I need she's not thing. here. You're not here. Yes, she's not here, he's not here. He won't know, she won't know. So there is that ease okay, of like cheating. Like Yoruba movies or Nigerian Nollywood movies, it will now turn out to be his best friend. You get <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that shows friend. up <laughs> at the day of on the, wedding, on the day. wedding day. You get <laughs> so that happens. The ch cheating is pretty easy with long distance relationship. Hmm. So that that's that's under hmm. under key factor. So I think these are the two key things that and really then occur. I, I, I dare say it also causes misunderstandings because yeah. some things you might easily express when you say it, the person might misunderstand yeah, it. And yeah, yeah. You can't issues. even you can't even um, underestimate the place of um, living by social media hmm. in the sense that if relationship is just basically via social media and um, conversations are there. It's easy to misinterpret um, texts hmm. as it is. There are, there are some people are now learning to use emojis. Yeah. Okay, so at times you can say something hard, then try to insert a smiley to make it, to make it look like, but still, it still doesn't, it's easy, it's easy to misunderstand communication that happens via social media. So that's another issue understanding communication okay so now that we've uh, taken away the bad parts let's okay. talk about the good parts okay. of long distance <laughs> relationship peace of mind <laughs> okay, well, yeah so um <laughs> for someone that likes their space mm. and their time mm -hmm. long distance is just the best for them right? yeah. because they have time to themselves they don't have to because every time you want to see your partner you plan it ahead say two months ahead yeah. or a month ahead so you know that for the next one month i have this time to myself mm -hmm. so somebody that likes time to themselves they like to flow well with long-distance yeah. relationship. Then, like I was talking about cheating, because of the 
ease of cheating that comes with long distance relationship. For somebody that can have the temptation to cheat and not fall for that temptation, that is a strong thing. Okay, mm. so long distance relationship can also increase trust mm. depending on the personality of the people. Uh -huh. Okay, so if, so that's the other side of the cheating part, because now you're exposed to cheating, but you are choosing, because not in the end, cheating is a choice. Mm. You are choosing to still, and um, even though I'm not seeing my partner, I want to still um, be faithful to this person. Mm. So long distance relationship forces people to give trust mm. and to earn trust wow. as it is. So I think that that's another beautiful thing about it. Then, long distance relationship, because of the time and space that it affords you, allows you to also plan your life. Um, mm. Relationships that are close, there's a tendency of people crowding themselves. Because of dependency. Yeah. yeah, so you are planning yourself, but you are planning the other person into your own life plan. Mm -hmm. But with long distance relationship, that is a little minimized. You just have to make time for them every now and then, yeah. focus on your life. Focus instead. on your life, so you can pursue your goals and just give everything to it as much as possible. Yeah. So long distance relationship, then on the lighter mode, for those that don't like um, meeting the families of of their significant other. They can long postpone it for as long as They can keep postponing and see, say, we'll see you and see you. At the end of the day, uh, we, you know, we gave you consequences, we gave you uh, the advantages. It looks like the advantages are more. I'm not <laughs> promoting anything. Uh, well, well. But it's all good. Thank you so much for being on the show today, Oliver. Thank you for having uh, me. Unfortunately, you don't even practice long distance relationships. No, You're very married. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll take this break. And of course, Wake Up Nigeria continues. Stay with us. All right, it's time for us to check out your comments uh, via social media. Uh, today we are talking about uh, the current uh, high cost of food prices. And we are going to start taking a look at comments from Facebook. Now, I'm not alone. I've got TT here, of course. Mm -hmm. And we've got uh, the beautiful Anita Jean. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's start off uh, with Facebook. Uh, so this is uh, Ching Yiri. Isia Kwene says, everything is on the high side. We had to buy beef, and it was very small. Mm. Uh, that's uh, the first comment I'm seeing here on Facebook. Now, Agogde Godde says, here in the north, sellers are in need of buyers. Mm. You can minimize your purchase. Mm. Here, farmers are crying for buyers. Products are wasting in the markets. Bag of onions, less than 6,000 naira. If you see buyer. Now, if you go to that particular comment, uh, there are actually loads of replies, mm. uh, people contradicting, and there's, there's even an argument going on mm. uh, regarding that that you might want to join in. Mm. Uh, moving on to Azimi Ozemoya Bobby, who says, Why would food prices go up? The northerners stop food to the south and realize there is no other market outside south. It is an avenue for the south to determine the prices. We can't lose it this time. Okay, so uh, I'll definitely go get back to the comments, but um, they, uh, Titi, we talked about this earlier, yeah, um, about the food yeah. scarcity issue and all, mm. and here is someone talking about the fact that in the north, mm. the cost of food prices is mm. very low because, of course, this is harvest season. I wanted to note something. You know, we have on the couch with us Anita Jini. Yeah, I mentioned just that earlier. Yeah. And when she was performing, there was a line, why you do me like that? So <laughs> why, they doing, you know. <laughs> why are they doing us like this? I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it, you know, it's alarming. But, you know, um, I know that um, when it comes to being a woman, there's just some things that you just have to go through. I, I'm wondering what your opinion is on all this. <sighs> well, mm? I think... <laughs> you haven't been to the market in a long while. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very new, very new. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. And it's not been easy, you know, trying to mm. get there, mm. particularly, but we've mm. been trying. Okay. We've been trying, mm. you know, trying to stay safe. Okay. That's the word to use, you mm. know. And I think that reception for me mm. has been awesome. Really. All right then. Okay. Amazing. So what about going to the markets? Mm. What has it been like for you lately? Ah, going to the market. I bought meat yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so how much, how much meat did you buy? I bought meat of 3K. Okay. okay. It was small. Okay. It was really small. Yeah, huh? and they kept saying, ah, this is the best. I, Madam, I just want you to feel girls last week. <laughs> if you go anywhere for this market, you're not going to see anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait, she's like, like this. Mm. 
I had to buy, it was really small. Mm. And it mm. zips in that, oh, there's me to scares, mm. you know, call me to scares and everything. So, mm. well, uh, it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Mm. Okay, um, I'm just going to take a look at more comments. Uh, mm. Joy Ineka still on Facebook says, it's really terrible as for prices. Uh, what we see in the market every day, it's not funny at all for average people that have large families. Mm. Adeshola Adedeji says, it really hasn't been nice at all. Everything is expensive. No pepe again in the market. Mm. We have to buy and mm. store in case of any urgency. Akonde Folake says, ha, it mm. is not small inflation. Believe me, mm. the, Im the, 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 the level of ha in mm. this conversation yeah. is serious. Mm. And trust my people, everything has increased, including mm. crayfish. Yes, yeah? Yeah. Crayfish has, uh, uh, yeah. it has, it actually has. It's MM. So <laughs> there's some, it there's like some MM staples. Been to the market recently. Yeah. Mm. Well, what has it been like for you, crayfish wise as well? <laughs> you know what, we'll take a look, we'll, we'll, we'll hear mm. from MM uh, later. <laughs> I wanted to mention, you know, there's something that people do uh, in other countries, they bottle um, some of the, they jar some of the products that yes. they use mostly. Yes. Like some people used to jar pepper and tomato. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, they would boil it down, put it in jars, yes. then yes. boil the jar. Yeah, yeah to seal it yeah. um, and now that's what some people are relying on and they're like ah it's almost finished though that what do we do <laughs> um, there were some times that you'd have excess and then you'd now be able to keep it for yeah. next time now yeah. there's never any excess yeah. Yeah. so yeah. I think we really need to start cutting down on maybe relying on tomato for a lot of things. I think we have yeah. to start thinking of alternatives for tomato. I don't know <laughs> if we can. Uh, but we are a country something. that consumes a lot of tomatoes, I so know. that's where the issue is. Okay, so back to the comments. <laughs> Ibrahim Adekoke Balogu says, I was shocked last Friday. Wow. With my money, I couldn't buy much. Life of a common man. Mm. Awotoye Bisilola Folari mm. says, very ter terrible now. Me, I, I used to boil my pepper and keep it in the bottle yeah. for months. On getting to market last Friday, it was another story. Oh, may God help us. Mm. David Olaoluainde says, yes, very, very expensive, uh, particularly perishable stuff. Mm. Bachelor's life, don't I? What has bachelor's life got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> like, even married people are probably even having yeah. it worse because you're not buying for yourself alone. You have to buy for your spouse as well. So, uh, let me take a quick look at Twitter as well. Ola Olua Otikuri and your last says, mm. there is, especially prices of tomatoes and pepper. Mm. Uh, Tolix Cake says, it's coming down already. Bag of onions was 16,000 on Friday. Wow. As at this evening, it was 11,000. Told mm. my customer to call me when it's six to 7,000. Ah, <laughs> Sister, you wait. let me tell you something. <laughs> this is an advice from uh. the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Go and buy it nice. now at that 11,000. It could be that the person already had it in storage yeah. or a mm -hmm. truck just arrived mm -hmm. because Right now, there are no trucks, so it's best yeah. to buy it now. <laughs> okay, so um, Ido Uolaji Moke Susan says, there is hike in price of food items, no doubt about that. Talk of pepper, tomatoes, egg, beans, palm mm. oil, amongst others. How come we haven't <laughs> spoken about egg all this time? Mm. I actually mm. wanted to mention eggs. So I bought eggs yesterday, and uh, on the shelf, usually the shelf is full, and then there were just few. And then when I got home, like four or five were cracked. Wow. Hey, then wow. my, my nanny was like, should we throw them away? I said, throw one. <laughs> throw one. <laughs> throw two away. No, you're not throwing those eggs away. I was like, hey, is that that we cook them right now? <laughs> or we them. store them or something like that? Because like there eggs, was no eggs throwing used to be away. 800. Mm -hmm. In fact, they started from like 500 to 800. Mm -hmm. And that 800, people were like, that, that would definitely be the worst it can get. Mm -hmm. And now we are buying crates of eggs for 1,500, yeah, 2,000 naira. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, Egba, <laughs> this country. Okay, <laughs> it is well. Uh, Emerani Stanley says, no joy at all. Failure to buy it at the price they gave you. Tomorrow, you will see here another hike in price. Mm. Now, we really wish we could take all your comments. Like, yeah. we have loads of comments regarding this on Facebook and on Twitter. Mm. And I can tell that so many people are really feeling sad about the situation. So we, we can only keep our fingers crossed that it will get better. So, sweetie, when you're going to the market next, maybe we should all go together <laughs> you know. so that we can get in bulk and buy I'm cheaper. Sure. Abby? <laughs> <laughs> they will be happy to see us all <laughs> together because then yeah. they cannot hike it more. <laughs> oh <laughs> all right, that's about it uh, regarding social media uh, for today. Uh, we'll take this break and, of course, Wake Up Nigeria continues. Stay with us. When you hear that sound, you know we're loading. We're loading.
Right? The excitement <laughs> is climbing <laughs> and it continues. We have about 45 minutes to go on this particular show. And the promise of ensuring that we deliver the very best to you remains number one. Yes, uh, we are definitely up to it. Mm -hmm. We own yes. it. Uh, whatever it is, uh, we have got you covered. And uh, guess what? Mm -hmm. You are our own diamond in the sky. Oh. And as such, we'll always be a special part of what we do on the show. Thank you so much for always joining us. Thank you so much for joining us online to our e-community. We appreciate you. We see you watching live. We appreciate you. We love you. And uh, we're still buzzing from the first one hour. If you didn't catch it, now you're in luck. There's still quite a bit to go. That's equally as good. And so we need you to stay tuned uh, for the next uh, 45 minutes on our special Wonder Women Wednesday edition of the most exciting family breakfast show, Wake yeah. Up Nigeria. Now, MM is with us, and we plan to take over the world, Pinky and the Brain style. Yes. <laughs> Pinky and the Brain, Titi. Really? Because there. now I'm beginning to wonder whether <laughs> Titi is Pinky and MM is the Brain. Ah. Mm. <laughs> and nice. I'm not talking about. Who is the nice. more evil of us both? <laughs> that you know who is pinky green chalers <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, anyways uh, unfortunately our chef has not arrived mm. yet mm -hmm. but uh, we apologize people i know like this is one segment that you'll look out for mm -hmm. we apologize she's still stuck in traffic mm. um hopefully um she'll get here at some point and then we'll do it after the show and then we'll, they can uh, follow up on our social media platforms at tvc connect all right, now my name is Titi Laya Unison. And of course, my name is Mary Bashua Alimi. Now remember, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC, and that's across all social media platforms to be a part of the very best breakfast show on Nigerian television. I and like to say that a lot. And everything she said, you can watch live absolutely anywhere across the world. Just use our mobile app. Just download it from Google Play Store or iOS. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we, of course, also implore you to follow us across all our social media platforms, okay? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. at TVC Connect. Mm -hmm. Please make sure you are following us. And let's take a look at what is left. Uh, mm -hmm. Joining us to talk about food allergies on our nutrition uh, staple is nutritionist Ifan Yuwa Omiyesete. All right. Now, that's a very delicate topic. Uh, when it comes to food, a lot of parents are unaware of the kinds of allergies they might be exposing their kids to. We're going to touch on that one very soon. But by that lady, eh? <laughs> would she have reacted like that if I was part of that? Are you okay in the middle of the road while she was teaching her how to drive? Oh! <laughs> Wow. Mary, like, like Mary, I feel like Mary. she just stomped on. I was like, "What? Is it my force to drive?" So that, <laughs> that seems to be a topic that's yeah, been it trending. Um, teaching your yeah. girlfriend to drive. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> unfortunately, we can't get on with this banter. But oh. um, there are some so, there are still some interesting facts mm. that uh, we have for you. Mm. Check them out. Time for us to take the news update right here on Wake Up Nigeria, starting with security matters in Niger State where bandits have struck again, kidnapping dozens of passengers along the Tegina Mina Road in Rafi local government area. A source told TVC News that the bandits blocked the road at Kundu Town, a few kilometers away from Zungeru, where three commercial vehicles carrying nine passengers ran into their hands. The passengers were all abducted while the vehicles were left by the roadside. In another development, armed bandits kidnapped an unknown number of villagers at Girigori town in Rafi local government area, burning five cars, carting away other valuables. While confirming the incident, a senior government official says nothing has been heard from the bandits to enable the authorities know the identities of those kidnapped. In a related development, one person was also killed while several others were kidnapped when bandits raided Manta town in Shiroro local government on Monday evening. The bandits also ransacked the houses of villagers, stealing foodstuffs and other valuable items. The plans to get the police proved abortive as the police public, public relations officer Wasiu Abiodun did not pick his calls. 
Meanwhile, the Nigerian Governor's Forum has visited Zamfara State to felicitate with Governor Bello Matawale over the successful rescue of the 279 abducted Jangede schoolgirls. The delegation is headed by the chairman of the forum, who doubles as the governor of Ikiti State, Kayode Fayemi, and others on the entourage are Governor Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State and uh, Deputy Governor of Sokoto State. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Niger State Command, have recovered 27 new rifles from the suspects during a routine stop and search operation in Katangara area of the state. The suspects, Danjuma Auta, 35, and Daniel Dangrangi, 25 from Dirindaji Sakaba local government area of Kebi State were arrested along Kotangora Zuru Road, Niger State on Monday. According to the Niger State commander of the agency, Mr. Aloye Isaac Uludari, they were arrested with 12 locally fabricated AK-47 rifles and 15 locally fabricated pistols in another operation. Operatives of the NDLEA, Undo State Command, raided Ita Ikwele and Ikwele Forests of Owo, local government of Undo State, during which six suspects were arrested. The Undo State Commander of the agency, Mr. Haruno Gagara, said a total of 41 kilograms of cannabis sativa and six kilograms of cannabis seeds were recovered, while five hectares of cannabis farm was located and destroyed. The president of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, has urged the newly confirmed service chiefs to confront the country's security challenges head on by taking the fight to bandits in their camps. Senator Lawan threw this challenge shortly after pr the presentation and consideration of its defense committee's report at plenary. To confirm the appointment of the new service chiefs, the Senate is worried that the insecurity challenges have been turned to a business venture, which must be urgently addressed. The Chief of Defense Staff and the new service chiefs, that Nigerians expect so much from them. We are in a very serious situation. The security situation must be improved, and the bug is now going to stop on their tables as far as operations are concerned. We in the National Assembly, particularly in the Senate, will continue to support our armed forces in whatever way is possible. And that's all we have time for when it comes to the news update. Mary is standing by for sports. Quite an interesting feature there on brass sizes. Hmm, that's one. I will need one more. <laughs> Anyways, now over to some nutrition topic. And today we are joined by Ifeinwa Onmesete. She's a nutritionist who's here to talk about food allergies. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Now let's get straight into the today's discussion. Food allergies, what are they? Okay, so food allergies are an immune reaction that the body responds to when being exposed to either an ingredient or a kind of food. Okay, now let's talk about the causes. We have food um, that people react to that or that immune system reacts to. So can we list out those, what those foods are? Okay, so we have the top eight allergens. Okay. There's some others, but there's the top eight. eight yeah. So you have nuts, you have um, dairy, you have okay. wheat, you have soy, um, then you have fish, um, then there's eggs. Uh, and I believe then there's the environmental aspects, so things like pesticides, um, and then of course dust and mites. And okay. Like okay. Now talking about pesticides, we need to break it down so that people can understand what you mean by pesticides. So they're not thinking, do people actually take in pesticides? <laughs> right. Yeah. So we need to, you know, expand on that. So pesticides basically just mean things that are used to either prevent um, insects or bugs from attacking our crops, crops. during harvest yeah. or while we're growing. Um, and then of course maybe things that we use in our homes to try and prevent insects and roaches, rodents, rats and things like that. All right. So uh, let's start from the early stages because children are more susceptible to these, you know, um, allergies. Um, first of all, as a pregnant woman, 
are there is there any food that a woman can take to prevent allergies um, there's not a lot of data on that yet. Okay. Um, however, pregnant women are advised to avoid certain things while they are pregnant. Okay. Not necessarily because of allergies, mm. but what we always recommend is that if there's a history in the family, like for example, if mom, let's say, is allergic to dairy, so yeah. that would be milk and milk mm -hmm. byproducts, mm -hmm. um, we always recommend that they avoid them okay. while they are pregnant, just so that if the child does come out to have allergies is not as severe mm -hmm. as that of the mom. All right. Now, let's talking about when the child is born. How do we know that this child will react to certain foods growing up, and what can we do to stop it? Okay. So I think the first one, usually, which is the soonest to find out, mm. would be milk, okay. um, because that's the first, first food. food yeah. yeah, that favorite. Now, what we always suggest to moms is pay attention to what you eat while you're breastfeeding. Mm. About just almost about 10% of what we eat gets into your breast milk. So mm. that's why you hear don't do alcohol and things like that. Yeah. But if your child is, for example, allergic to nuts, mm. if you eat nuts and breastfeed, they will get it and they will have a reaction. Um, then the other is if the child is being formula fed, then you would also notice that because most formulas, they have different grades, but mm. most formulas, the basics are milk based. So what will happen is the child will obviously react to that. Usually as early as like the first week, you would see a reaction if the child is allergic. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, the doctors and the nutritionists will have to say, okay, we have to move from this to something else, move to maybe um, we have different ones. So there's amino-based, um, there's um, lactose-free mm -hmm. versions of formula and say, okay, move to that. Because if the child is allergic to your breast milk or, you know, the milk proteins in your breast milk, yeah then you have to move to formula because you can't really fix your breast milk in that case. All right, talking about, still talking about babies, um, is jaundice um, a result from a food allergy? No. Because there are, lot, there, there, are, there are reports, medical reports, that um, breast milk could actually you know, be a cause for jaundice in babies. Um, so do you think, is there any, is it related in any way? So no, food allergies and jaundice separate, are separate, okay. se separate spectrum. Um, breast milk actually helps babies who have jaundice because jaundice is essentially something that has to do with excessive production of bile. Yes, yeah. yeah, so breast milk helps to help the child flush it out. All right. Um, so All right, great. So they're separate. Fantastic. Now let's go. Let's talk about allergies and tolerance because there's, there's food allergies and then there's food tolerance. There's certain. I mean, that's why we have lactose intolerance when we're growing up. Yeah. So let's talk more about that. Let's break that down. So okay. So like I mentioned before, allergies are an immune reaction, mm -hmm. right? So your immune system is overreacting to either a substance or food, while an intolerance is a digestive reaction. Mm. So you would have someone who says, oh, I think I'm allergic to milk. Not really. You probably are intolerant to it. But that's not a bad thing, right? No, no, no. Not okay. a bad thing. But it's important for people to be able to separate the two because allergies actually happen much faster. All right. Um, All right. Go ahead, please. No, allergies happen much faster, mm -hmm. and then uh, intolerances take a couple of days, sometimes even as far as 72 hours, so oh about wow. three days before oh wow. you see a reaction. All right, so quickly, before we wrap, wrap it up, what are the immediate, what's the immediate response to treat an allergy? Whether the home remedies or whether, you know, you have to rush them to the hospital, what are the quick um, response to, what's quick response okay, to? Okay, so there's the most severe one, which is usually called anaphylaxis, mm -hmm. and that usually leads to death if something is not done. Mm. So in that case, people who have those usually have something called an EpiPen, which is usually injected into the leg. So okay. you'd have that on prescription. All right. It helps to open up the airways. All right. While for the others... Um, Unfortunately, we'll have to wrap this up. I'm so sorry to cut you off. But um, if you would like to keep up with this conversation, you can join us on our social media platforms at TVC Connect. Whatever questions that you have, please, you can ask them and tag you at the social media handle. What's the social media handle? At the Kid Nutritionist. At the Kid Nutritionist. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ifeniwa. We have to go now stay with us there's just so much we have Corey Bello in the building be right back welcome back now we've been looking forward to this particular segment haven't we yes we indeed. Have. Uh, the one and only Corey Bello is in the studio now he's a Nigerian singer songwriter and someone who signed a record deal with Maven Records in 2014 
Bello is best known for his uh, hit single, God Ween, mm. a semi-gospel and pop song which became a national anthem and topped many music charts across Nigeria. Mm. And it's such a pleasure to have you in the studio with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, we've seen you in so many different lights, um, style changes, oh, yeah. hair changes, yeah. um, and even I sound changes. And sound, <laughs> I was going to say that. Thank you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you say it like, it almost sounds like I'm having a what? Um, early life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't it called I mean, in a good way. No, but yeah, that, of course that's, it is, you, it that's is. actually normal when it comes to Absolutely. entertainment. You always have to keep evolving it or else you're just going to be yeah. pushed aside. Mm. So it's, it's understandable. It's not as really pushed aside it's just just um overlooked because yeah. mm -hmm. you know it's just always what it is so the brain likes to mm -hmm. newness mm -hmm. the brain likes to see new things because that's how you get attention you know when it stays the same people just forget that it's there yeah so where's the source what is the source of inspiration i've asked you this probably a few years ago yeah but the thing is i feel like it's changed obviously it probably changed, changed over and over um the source of what exactly inspiration. the source of my vibes yeah. I have to check. Hmm. Um, <laughs> the source is my purpose. Okay. You know, I, I derive every energy and motivation from the fact from the fact that uh, I'm doing this for people. I'm the source of light to people, and my expression or my artistic expression, whatever medium they come through, is just to make other people feel better feel more um, alive mm -hmm. than they were before they engaged my content. Mm. So the source is my purpose, but my purpose is to please God. So it's connected. Oh. So now, yeah. if, if we were to look at your music journey, yes. now I'm, I'm looking at the sound. Mm. All right. Okay. Um, from Godwin, which yeah. has all big vibes and all, mm -hmm. to do like that, yeah. mm. which made people go, okay, is this really <laughs> Corey Day? Yeah. Uh, what made you take that swing from Godwin to do like that? Or is do like that really the kind of original sound you like? It's, it's good that you say that because it's not from Godwin, right? The first song I put out was I Love Man Jack. Yeah, like that's As true. early as like yeah. 2010 mm. or 2009 or something. Mm. But the first song I put out when I joined Maven mm. was African Princess. Mm. Yeah, and that's like a chilled vibe, mm. then cold outside, mm. then um, I can't remember the third one. Well, maybe the third one was Godwin. Mm. So Godwin was not the first song I had. So no, people of course, Godwin wasn't. I'm talking about your transition from exactly. Godwin. Because most mm. people, the moment they find something that makes them mm. like really popular, they stick exactly. to it. Mm. Exactly. The reason I was going through that was the songs that I put out before Godwin were not like Godwin. Mm. Yeah, of course. Right? So I don't like to box myself in any particular type of sound. Okay. Fortunately and unfortunately for me, for us, Godwin was such a bigger song than every other song I put out in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, so people just want me to continue doing that type of stuff. And after that, you know, I put somebody great, romantic, yeah. do like yeah. that, none of that. Um, for me, it's not about the sound, it's about yeah. the feeling. So when people ask me what journey of my music is, it's not a sound, it's a feeling. Mm. And the feeling is always joy for me. Mm. You know, it doesn't matter the sound. I, I want to be able to trap joy, the feeling of joy, goodness, inside a music, um, inside an art form. Mm. So it doesn't matter if it sounds like Godwin, it sounds like Toroguchi, it sounds like African Prince, sounds like Mikasa, it sounds like Wilma. As long as you feel good when you listen, that's my journey. Mm. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people have different stories that begin their musical journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, um, some of them probably started in banking. By the way, I'm a fan of your twins, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you just made me blush. Okay, you know what? Um, they're a fan of yours as well. Oh, uh, in sweet. Terms of music, they love it. I just go and learn grammar from them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they can blow grammar. Yeah, they actually can. That's uh, good. But you've also. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're doing a good job. I just lost the question I was going to ask. Can you stop <laughs> Maybe that, that was you intentional. <laughs> you knew the question I'm I was just joking. No, I didn't know. <laughs> so the, the romantic song. Yes. When the romantic song came up, yeah. you know, I, I, I really connected with that particular song oh. uh, when you performed it. Yeah. Uh, but then in terms of romance, we don't really hear ah. about your romantic <laughs> connections outside your music. Uh. Uh, so what's happening in that particular area? There's so many hearts you've probably broken along the way. <laughs> Talk to hmm. What makes you think I haven't been the one who's been heartbroken? 
Yeah. You haven't I been mean, in songs about it. You mm -hmm. could have made hits like Adele <laughs> or um, Taylor Swift. <laughs> well, I haven't released them. Ah, uh -huh. oh. we can't wait to hear them then. <laughs> um, <laughs> but jokes aside, um, I, I don't like to put my my relationship status, okay. you know, in in the public attention because knowing what I know about how the media works mm -hmm. except I'm doing it for the media to be honest okay. Okay. and I could roll with that you know I just, I just make everybody feel good okay. I know that it's nothing like mm -hmm. deep okay. going there's on. a question I'm going to ask you but that'll be right after we take a look at this clip of yours all right What's the concept behind real man mm. um real man is that's your new song by the way yes it's mm -hmm. my new song that's me on there right yeah. you can recognize that it's me <laughs> 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 um so there are a lot of like young men or young boys mm. that are transitioning into adulthood, right? Mm. And they don't really know what being a real man mm. really looks like because mm. maybe they don't have like people who they can emulate. Mm. Uh, and we are really missing that in our, you know, our society. We don't have like people who, or artists mm. who, uh, exe who exemplify what a real man should look like and act like. Mm. Um, and unfortunately, it has a lot of ripple effects in the future because mm. it's just a cycle. Yeah. And but that's just the subconscious message. I'm just trying to, you know, say what a real man is. A real man is a provider. Mm. And sometimes we get it mixed when people say, "Ah, women just want money." No, they don't want money because nobody really wants money. If I give you cash right now that you can't spend, you're not going to eat it. We like we want the things that money can buy us. We want the things that we can do with money. Mm. And if you look at it like two thousand, three thousand years ago, we're not spending money. Mm. But women always loved men that could provide. Mm. You know, so provide the food. Exactly. Provide. Go and bring that exactly. Antelope. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <But that's two. laughs> so and provision is not limited to like uh, materialism. You mm -hmm. know, it's emotional mm -hmm. provider yeah. can be there, can provide Companion the energy food, that I need. Yeah. So that 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 part. I've seen so much growth. I'm seeing so much depth. Yeah. Oh. From the very first interviews that we interviewed I know, him, right? him on the radio. Yes. Uh, well, you know something same. funny. I'd always thought you you had depth. So I'm actually yeah. surprised mm -hmm. at this because. Oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> well, as back back now. then when when Corridor <laughs> speaks, he it thinks before he speaks, and that's actually a very rare quality mm -hmm. in the oh. industry. So Sweet. I think it's just a case of there's now more maturity even in what is being said. Mm, true. Thank it's you. And, and a lot of messaging in your music. Yeah. Um, yes. So we, we're still talking about that clip that we just saw. Yes. A lady in there with a yes. wine bottle yeah. drinking, okay. um, you know, um, stumbling. If you, if, if you, mm. if we're pri privileged to see from the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she was with a guy mm. who, you know, is, you know, has a car, like mm. he has money. Yeah. Right, you know, it seems that's doing well. exactly that's yeah. what you know a woman would want, right? Yeah. Maybe they say like women want this, but she's like, no, I'm not, mm. I'm not satisfied. That's not what I need, mm. right? And, and she's like, do. yeah, mm. you see that? Yeah. And so she's like drinking mega wine actually. If that's mm. mega, that's me. <laughs> 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 so she's like, oh, let me just, I, I just need to ease up the stress, right? So she's like drinking, mm. and she goes subconscious. Mm -hmm. And she's dreaming. She's, you know, and then goes you into, into the dream. Exactly. Mm, she's, the she's real man. She wants a real man. <laughs> exactly. And she sees me in a, in a, in a you know, well outside <laughs> states. Did like, you see the oh size wow. of the guy? Mm. 1.7 there. No, you see, that's the thing. <laughs> it's not just about size, you know. Mm. Um, she wants more than that. Um, she wants a man who can be All there right. for her. You still haven't told us. Jo yeah. You don't have to give us the details. Yeah. Single or I don't even know where to categorize oh, no it. You're definitely not married. No longer sexual. Which one what, are you? What right difference now? would that make? It, we just mm. want to know because there are some girls that might want I, to I slide into your DM. Yeah. You know? Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't just stop give them us from. A hint. In fact, <laughs> most women, <laughs> most women who find you more attractive yeah. when you are in attached. a relationship. And then just tell us that you are so that. Why do I need to tell you? Uh, because if, we want what you does to that be more attractive. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm single. So there you single. have it. He's single. <laughs> <laughs> 21, Corey Miller is single. We <laughs> have to go now, though. <laughs> Not like we're going to be talking about his relationship status, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but we would love to have you join us again tomorrow morning from mm -hmm. 7 a.m. That's right. Look out for us on YouTube. All the clips of everything that we've done on the show today. And you know what? Mm -hmm. We are not just going to sign out. We're going to dance out because we're going to mm -hmm. be listening to this song by Corey Day Bell. Yeah. yeah.
Let's start. Let's play. Let's do the real man. Yeah.